King is back. King Paul is back. Fun part, all the hard work is done. Fun part. The King is back. The fight, the fight is a week away. The fun part, all the hard work is done. We just having fun, breaking this weight down. Back to the jet. Great to be back. I got a whole new energy about boxing, a whole new love for it, so I'm just happy to be back. What do you think about any ring rust since it's been a while? Oh man, oh, the first fight. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about that oh, first man. fight. The first fight, it was a lot. It was a lot. I got super tired even though I was training hard. It just, you know, just being inactive. So um, I'm not worried about it. I'm just going to knock a little bit off probably this fight too, but I feel way better, way more confident in this fight. Tell me about your opponent. Uh, Ford, um, he's a he's a great fighter. Um, I don't know too much about him, but I know he's a good fighter. He's a tough uh, competitor, so I'm willing. I'm looking forward for a really good fight. How special is it that this thing's gonna be in your hometown of Cleveland? Oh, uh, it's, it's like I like I just like I said earlier. I told my little brother, you know, soak this in. He he, you know, he he doing this. He brought all these people here, so you know, enjoy this moment. And it's it's amazing to be here. And then, like I said, we at the Rocket Mortgage. He's doing this like. Like, a lot of people can't say that, you know? So just, just enjoy it and have fun. We're here in Cleveland, Ohio with Raynell Williams. He is going to be fighting on the Man Montana Love Fight here in Cleveland? Yes, at the Rock and Mortgage. And, and also you are Montana's brother? I'm his brother. older brother, yes I am. And, and I was asking, you know, it, it, you went out sort of a little bit of a stoppage there as far yes. as for five years you were inactive. Yes. Now, why did you stop fighting? Uh, because the last two years of my boxing career was uh, kind of shaky. And then I fell out of love with the sport. And like I said, I also got a family. So I just, uh, just decided to take a step back. And then what brought you in back into it? I mean, there's usually something where you were you uh, sitting somewhere, or yeah, I was did you talking say? to my wife, and she asked me, you know, what do I want to do? And you know, and I told her I want to be a world champion. She said, Well, then you got to get in the gym if you want to be a world champion. I'm like, you're right. You know, I got the time right now, so I ain't want to be looking back 50 years from now. I mean, when I turn 50, it'd be like I could have did something, and I could do it now. So I just gave it another shot. You know, as, as I was saying, Danny Garcia, one of my favorite fighters out down there from Philly, uh -huh. Philly, Cleveland. These yeah. are all Youngstown. These are uh -huh. all fight towns, New York City. He took a break there for uh, a year or so. And then, then he said one day he was in the gym and he was like, I love the smell of this gym. A matter of fact, I we mean, asked him what, what he missed most. He said, I, I miss most the smell of the gym. I, I mean, um, once you've been boxing for so long, you got a hunger for it. But like I said, I didn't think I was going to be back in here. It's just the motivation of my little brother, Montana, my father, and my wife got me back into the gym. And we were just realizing you only get one life, so why not go chase it? So I'm just giving it the best shot I got. Well, well tell us now, who are you facing on this card? I'm facing uh, um, Ford. Ford. And tell me about him. Um, I know he's a real tough competitor, um, and I know he's putting in a lot of work just like I am. So we'll have a real good fight on the 12th. And, and how's your weight doing? Are you, are you, uh, no, my weight doing good. Oh, yeah, most definitely going to make weight. Most definitely. Okay. No problems there? No, no, no problem. No problem. And, no problem at all. Any special diet? Oh, yeah, you most definitely got to cut back on, you know, <laughs> how, how much you eat and how much you consume. You know, you always got to have a, a nice meal prep um, for the whole camp. So, you know, that's a smart way to break the weight down. Okay. And, and, and tell us a little bit about your camp and your trainers. Um, well, we got a three. We got T. We got uh, Push and we got Coach DM. They've just been in here pushing us this whole camp and trying to get the best out of us. All right. Well, once again, it's going to be in Cleveland. At the Rocket Mortgage. Yeah, the Rocket Mortgage. Uh, the Cavs play. <laughs> My little brother, you know, he's he doing something big. So I, I'm just happy for him and I want him to soak this in, you know, enjoy this moment.
CCLE. Yes, that's right. <laughs> okay, we're sort of in my neck of the woods. I'm mm -hmm. I'm from Warren, actually. Okay, yeah, you're right uh, up the street. Uh, originally, sort of uh, right uh, up the street. Uh, uh, it's going to be some fireworks. How do people get in touch with you or I'm, uh, follow you? I just started Instagram like three months ago. I know I started it late, but it's uh, it's one Raynell Williams, the number one Raynell Williams. You know, you can uh, reach out, you know, yeah, you know, just follow me. Okay, once again, Saturday, November 12th, it's coming up. Oh, yeah, I'm, we excited. We excited. All the hard work is done. Right now it's just the preparation of getting the way down, just staying sharp, but we're ready. And, and if you can't be there, it's broadcast on the zone. Okay. Check us out. If you can't be there in person, check us out on the zone. Thank you. Good Thank luck you. there. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs>